Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and I help people find their center. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the first three insights of the Celestine Prophecy and how it links up with the Great Awakening of 2020. So for those of you that don't know, the Celestine Prophecy was a book that came out in 1993 and there's also a movie that came out in 2006. You can watch the movie on Amazon Prime for free if you've got it. I'm also gonna link the audiobook for free down below. It's very long on YouTube, but you can stream it and listen to it for free. It's like nine or 10 hours long. So if you got some time, anyway, if you don't feel like listening to it, check out this video. So first of all, The Great Awakening. The Great Awakening that's going on on the planet has been predicted about for centuries. It's basically us as a collective whole, the planet Earth, helping to awaken it from the inside out, to realize that we're here beyond just this physical matrix. In Dolores Cannon talks about it, the Law of One talks about this kind of materials, and a call was put out in the 1940s when the atomic bomb went off that we basically need to shift our ways. We need to stop Earth from blowing herself up, similar to Atlantis and Maldek, a planet that destroyed itself with technology. Anyway, humans thinking, you know, whatever, Earth is a sentient being put out a call, and that's when everybody in this, who was on here on Earth right now, basically said that they wanted to be here in some capacity. Earth is like, right now, has got center stage. Anyway, so the call was put out, people volunteered, star seeds, light workers to come here in a certain capacity and to help with the shift in vibration that's going on. We're shifting from third density, third dimension, which is solar plexus, to fourth dimension, fourth density, which is heart chakra based. So 3D to 4D. The Great Awakening means people are starting to remember. Earth is starting to remember. And we're here to anchor in the higher planes of consciousness, like energy from Pleiades, energy from Arcturus, onto the physical vessel of Earth and help her people wake up, help to, you know, raise the frequency on the planet because it's been like low vibe for so long. Anyway, so the Great Awakening is the awakening from the truth, the illusion of separation, awakening up from the deep sleep of the matrix, awakening from the veil of forgetfulness that we came in here, like it's part of our agreement as being here on earth is to forget. And the game is to remember. So the great awakening is happening right now. People are waking up all on the planet, all over the place. This kind of information seen esoteric, you know, even two, three years ago is becoming more and more mainstream. You see more healing arts coming online. People are more moving into their heart center to start to remember that they're divine beings. Anyway, so in the Celestine Prophecy and how it's linked to the Great Awakening of now, in the Celestine Prophecy, it was like, there was a whole couple of insights. I think there's 12 of them now. Originally there was nine in the movie and it was suppressed by the Catholic Church. It was suppressed by those patriarchy, the Gregorians, the Romans from that time on to suppress this kind of information because it would make them lose power. It would make them shift. Those that have forgotten that we're all one, they're like greedy little children hanging on being like, oh, this is mine. They don't want to share this kind of information because they know it's life shifting for everybody here and it would help awaken mass amounts of people. Anyway, so in the movie, this dude He's on his quest, on his journey, whatever, for, doesn't really remember who he is. He gets a visit from a friend and then he all of a sudden finds himself on this journey in Peru where the insights were discovered originally. And then on this, in this movie, in this book, he goes through his quest, his spiritual awakening journey, which is very similar to what a lot of us go through. And through that he shares the insights now spoiler alert for the end of the movie the mayans ascended to the next dimension the mayans ascended into light body form 
but not in their physical bodies. That's the biggest difference between the Great Awakening and when the Mayans went through it and other cultures is that this is the first time that we're ascending with Earth in physical form in our physical vessels so that's why it's important now the three insights the first three that are relevant to your the great awakening to your spiritual awakening journey to your star seed and light worker awakening is number one is noticing synchronicity that is the first insight what is synchronicity synchronicity is you looking over at the clock and seeing 11 11 you getting an impulse to go to a specific location say you're drawn to go to 7-eleven say you're drawn to go to a particular meeting place then you receive some sort of relevant information there that is of benefit to your spiritual path that is of benefit to something that you were hoping to manifest something that propels you along your journey that's precisely what synchronicity is it's you waking up to more of who you are in the form of number synchronicities, of you having a thought of going to a specific place or looking up certain information, and then you receive some sort of information or benefit from you that pushes you forward, even if it's just a little bit, even if it's just what seems like, oh, I needed this information right now, thank you. Even if it's just a video like this, even if it's just you know, something of that nature. That's what synchronicity is. I had a lot of synchronicity to meet my twin flame. So that's why synchronicity is so important, is it's your higher self that sees all. As Abraham Hicks puts it, your non-physical self sees all and is on top of the mountain. And your physical self is receiving guidance from your higher self on the mountain as to what you want to manifest. So that's the number one thing is synchronicity. Number two is waking up and realizing that we are not just physical beings. For a long time, there was a misconception on the planet that we're just physical, that we're only matter. And now people are starting to wake up and remember that we are also non-physical. We are made of matter and we are made of light body. We are made of non-physical and physical in the same like space we are both physical and non-physical and everything around us the whole entire matrix the whole entire planet and the universe and the cosmos is all made of the same stuff it's all made of physical and non-physical and by going along with the synchronicities which is number one you'll find that number two ha kind of happens to you through spiritual awakening through remembering that's what a spiritual awakening is it's remembering that you're more than just this physical vessel that what we see here is that life is not dead but everything is actually alive and everything is actually connected and has a pulse everything has life energy within it and that's because our center of consciousness our heart chakra and our spirit is projecting from the inside out the life and realizing that it's all one which is the third law which is that once you realize that we're all spiritual that we're all connected that what you do to another you do to yourself so if you want to help people if you set the intention by doing your passion by giving by sharing in a way that's productive and beneficial not only to you but in a way that expresses your creativity that expresses your truth that is of benefit to others you'll get that back to you you'll get that reflected back to you in the form of abundance in the form of love connecting with your twin flame your soul tribe so number one is noticing the synchronicity is noticing the patterns pay attention synchronicity is trying to grab your attention your higher self is trying to grab your attention to say hey look here look here look at 444 google what is starseed youtube videos like this Number two is recognizing that you're more than just a physical body, more than just your personality, your ego. And number three is realizing that everything is spiritually connected and physically connected. There's an episode of Avatar The Last Airbender called The Swamp. It's in the book two, Earth, called episode four of The Swamp. 
and Aang puts his hand on a tree and he's able to sense where Appa is. He's able to sense the vibrational connection between all of the living things and we're all connected by invisible strings, invisible threads that link us all together. So what you do to another, you do to yourself. What you give out is what comes back to you. That's what exactly what the law of attraction is, is what you put out, you get back. So again, this is linked to the difference in the great awakening, the similarity in the great awakening to these three insights, and it helps you along your path is because you want to work on each of your chakras, each of your elements, even the 3D, even the third density, which is linked to solar plexus, which is linked to the fire element. And that'll help you ascend more balanced into the 4D, which is your heart chakra. You'll find things manifest quicker once you align yourself from the inside out, physical, non-physical, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and most importantly, vibrationally. So again, synchronicity leads to remembering that you're a spiritual being, realizing and linking that everything is all connected and that you're here for a purpose. You're here to help with the shift in the great awakening. So smash the thumbs up button. I hope you like this content. I'm going to come out with more Celestine insights and stuff like that and how it's linked to the great awakening now. Comment down below where you're at on your spiritual awakening journey. Are you going through any spiritual awakening symptoms? Let me know. Thank you for being here. You're awesome. You're amazing. Peace and unity.